Okay, today we'll be opening up this Molly oil filter, number OC4053, and this Blueprint oil filter, number ADG02102. And I got both of these oil filters from a very generous viewer whose nickname is Curly Dog. He sent me these two oil filters all the way from Kent, England, UK. This is number four and number five out of the five oil filters that he sent me. I already made two videos out of the other three, and I'll put their links at the end of this video. Thanks, Curly Dog. These oil filters fit his 2003 Vauxhall Vectra. Yep, the one with the 1.8 liter Z18 XE four-cylinder engine. And these two filters are going to duke it out. It could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the Molly filter and we'll start with the box. There's really not much information on this box. You know, you get the filter number here, Molly oil filter. And down here, if you look, it says made in China. Down here, it says Molly aftermarket. And they got an address here, Germany. You see on the filter, it says made in China. And the date code, 250921. And this filter has this plastic cover over it. Close. And we got eight inlet holes, metal core with holes. There's no bypass valve on this filter. Three grooves there for threads. And nitro rubber gasket, which is on there pretty good. I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay, let's look at the blueprint oil filter. Over here we see United Kingdom, so I'm guessing this is made in uh, England. I looked up on this website, checked it out. Couldn't find any information really about this filter. They just, they give the dimensions, but no uh, specs. And that's about it for this box. So let's open up, see what it looks like. And also I couldn't find a date code up here, but what I did find is Ooh, right over here. This looks like it's a date code of some sort, but I don't know how to decipher it. Maybe one of you guys know how. And they just got some instructions. And also it's got this plastic. Oh. And this one has four lit holes. Metal core with holes. Also no bypass valve. And four grooves there for threads. With a nitro rubber gasket. Which is on it pretty good. So let's see how they stick out. Yeah, they stick out about the same. Filters are about the same size. Molly's a little bit taller. All right, let's open these two filters up and see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The Molly filter weighs 261.1 gram. The Blueprint filter weighs 270 grams even. Okay, let's take a look at their gaskets. The gasket on the blueprint is a little bit wider. I'll put them on the screen, measurements on the screen. They look fine. And base plates. The blueprint, 121 grams even. Molly, 109.6 grams. The Molly has this little rubber gasket right here. There it goes. It just goes right on there. Down to there. So. I don't know what that's all about, but I guess it's just to keep it tighter. And let's take a look at these base plates. So, the threads there, on the grooves for the threads, they look pretty much the same. I thought there was one more extra on the on this uh, blueprint, but it looks the same. And the holes, the holes may be even out also, because you've got bigger holes here on the blueprint. you got more of them on the Molly, but they're smaller. So, I prefer all these instead of just these four. And the filter elements. The Molly, 68.2 grams. The Blueprint, 72 grams, 72.1 gram. Okay, let's take a look at this Molly filter. 
Got a metal crimp seam. Count is 65 pleats. Nicely spaced. No excess glue. May remember right there just a little bit, a little bit of excess glue right there. We got these nice shiny end caps. No bypass valve. These filters were made for uh, engines that don't need a bypass valve because they got their own bypass valves in the engine. And I'll put a picture of what what some of them look like. Put it up on the screen right now. And this filter, I don't have no specs on it. I don't know what the micron rating is or what this filter media is made out of. Couldn't find anything. But it looks like a well-made filter. It's nice and clean. Okay, and the blueprint filter. Also metal end caps. No bypass valve. And we got a glued seam here somewhere right here. It looks like a glued seam. Inside seam. And I counted 57 pleats. A little excess glue right here. So we got eight less pleats. And also, I don't have the specs on this filter MIDI either. I couldn't find anything on this. So, okay, and what do we got inside the cans? Well, Molly, we got a coil spring. And the blueprint, we got one of these stamp leaf springs, which these don't look too good. I, I don't, you know, with the slit in them, I don't know why they put the slits in them. They look like they would bend really easy but there with there okay, and the cans the blueprint 64.3 grams the molly 70 grams even let's get their measurements getting about 0.65 yeah 0.65 millimeters pretty thick can the molly about 0 0.6, 0 0.60 for the blueprint. And the Molly is 2.44 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. The blueprint is 2.22 inches wide minus a tenth of an inch. Okay, so let's, I'm going to say. Yeah, I'm gonna say the Molly's got more uh Molly's got more filter media. Let me cut these open, stretch them out, and um see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, so here they are both stretched out. And the Molly filter is 67 inches long, and the blueprint filter is 59 inches long. Okay, let's get the thicknesses. Filter media. The Molly filter, 0.86 millimeters thick. The blueprint filter is 0.74 millimeters thick. Okay, so this is the filtering side. This is the back side. And if we take a look at these guys under a microscope, the Molly filter looks like it'd do a better job of filtering. There's a few light spots on this blueprint filter. Now let's take a look at that picture. So as you can see, the Molly filter looks like it could do a better job of filtering. And also with the blueprint filter, it had a, whoops, had a metal crimp seam inside. Let's figure I'd point that out. You get about 31 more square inches of filter media with the Molly filter. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So gaskets, I'd give them a tie. The base plates also, I'd give them a tie. I'd give them a tie. Now, I prefer the coil spring over this stamp leaf spring. And the center cores, they both got holes in them. Nice holes. They're smooth holes also. In the cans, I'd also give these a tie. There's, there's not much of a difference there for thickness. 
So between the two, I think I'd go with the Molly filter because it's got the coil spring plus I think it'd do a better job of filtering. And it has about 31 square inches of more filter media. So what do you guys think about these two filters? And again, I want to thank Curly Dog for sending me these two oil filters all the way from England. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The Molly Filter Media weighs 18 grams. The Blueprint Filter Media weighs 11.3 grams.